Okay, in today's tutorial we're going to go ahead and cover how to recover Outlook files when switching computers. So if you have a computer that died, or you just bought a new one for the heck of it, or anything really, if you just want to back them up, this is a good way to do it. You don't have to use the backup feature within Outlook because it kind of is but not it's redundant. It just makes a duplicate of the same files. So what we're gonna do is we will go ahead and locate where Outlook stores its files. It stores them in slightly different places if it's Vista or XP that you're on. I'm going to be doing this from a Vista computer, but I'm going to pull files from an XP computer and a Vista computer while I'm on this computer. The uh, process is the same whether you're using XP or Vista, it's just where they're at that's slightly different. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go into your control panel, open up folder options, then we will click on view, and what we want to do is we want to get to the point that right here where it says hidden files and folders. You want to show hidden files and folders. You want to uncheck hide extensions for known file types. You also want to uncheck protect hide protected operating system files. It's going to ask you if you're sure. If you're on Vista, it might ask you if you're sure more than once. We'll just hit OK. We're going to minimize that because I'm going to want to put that back when I'm done. And then the first one we're going to do it on is the Vista hard drive. So we'll open up Computer. And we'll go onto the Vista's hard drive. And here's one of the only places it differs. It's going to be in a different spot on Vista. So we'll go under Users. Then we want to click on the username of the person whose Outlook files you're, ba you're backing up, and that's CompRx on this one. Then you double click on App Data, and see this is hidden, which is why we had to go into the control panel. Then you'll double click on Local, go down to Microsoft, double click on that. You want to open up Outlook. And there they are. These are the two files we need. So you will copy those two files to wherever you want, whether it's your desktop, a removable drive, anything. But you want to go ahead and copy these files. And then we're going to restore them in a moment. But first I'm going to show you how to do this on an XP hard drive as well. So I'm going to close this. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go into Computer. We're going to open up the XP hard drive. And then in here, instead of Users, we're going to open up Documents and Settings. Again, the same thing. We're going to go into the username, which was administrator on the XP computer. And we're going to open up local settings, application data, Microsoft, and Outlook. And here they are. Same thing. Copy these files as you would need. And then once they're copied, we are going to go ahead and restore them into Outlook. Since this is on the, the computer you want to open them into. So you'll open up Outlook. There we go. And then you would go to File, Import and Export. It'll bring up this dialog. And we want to open a file from another program or file. So we'll hit Next. And it gives you a list of different kinds of files. So you're going to scroll down. And you want to click on Personal Folder File, or PST. Hit Next. And then you want to browse for the file. And on here, it's already going to know where my files are at. But then you would just double click on the file that you want to import, and it will start to import it for you once you hit next. And when it's done, it will be as if you were on the same Outlook file you were before. You may have to do it with more than one Outlook file, depending on how many folders and what, what have you you have set up. But that's essentially it. That is how you do it. I'm going to go ahead and leave the exact file name paths for uh, where to navigate to to find those files in the comments and that way if you open up any folder you'll see the address bar up here there you go. see this is a file path to this exact spot and I'm going to leave them in the comments of how to get to those files so that you could just paste it into the address bar or you could just paste it into um, Internet Explorer's address bar either way. But that should be helpful for you so, you that, so that you can back up and restore Outlook files from either an XP or a Vista computer.
I hope that's helped you. Have a good day.